gone is one thing to be gone the way that it happened is uh, I mean we're all just we're all pretty shook about what happened. Murdered by a stranger a man's life now being remembered and tonight his accused killer facing a judge for the first time. It is 11 o'clock. Good evening everyone. I'm Jeff Giannola. And I'm Jennifer Hoff. It all began with a welfare check. That's when police found 50 year old Greg Eisenhagen dead at his St. John's home, making an arrest then the next day. Our Cole Miller live in downtown Portland now following up on this story for us tonight. Cole? Well, guys, the 26 year old who police say killed Eisenhagen was in court today. Records show that he has a history of mental health problems and drug abuse, that he uses meth every day. And as you mentioned, he was a stranger to Eisenhagen. Now his friends are looking back on better days, remembering a man who could always make you smile. He was a good guy and a, a, a nice fella. Late Wednesday night, police investigating a murder in St. John's off North Jersey. And tonight, loved ones are sharing their stories of 50-year-old Greg Eisenhagen. And he played for our softball team, and that's really, we formed some deep friendships there. I mean, old man Greg is what we called him. He would, he would, uh, he could, he could hit the ball and he'd round the bases real hard. So he was, he was just a fun teammate, a fun person, fun teammate. Bart Blasengame, who knew Eisenhagen for around six years, says he was a staple at the neighborhood watering hole, the Fix in Two. Someone who, without much effort at all, soon became a close friend. He was a light. He was as comfortable, uh, closing down the bar with you as he was watching and playing with your kids. I'm great at karaoke. I mean, he wasn't great at karaoke, but he was great at karaoke. Um, he was just comfortable in his own skin. With his accused killer, 26-year-old Logan Johansson, now behind bars, trying to make sense of something so senseless hasn't been easy. When the word started going out um, yesterday, we immediately had a bar full of people just like I mean who were just like I'm gonna be sad for a little bit and then I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna figure out what I can do for for Greg's memory for his family and it's that memory that will continue to live on he was so genuine but always always himself mm -hmm. there aren't many folks like him and uh, he just he could he could roll with anybody and uh, we we already miss him Eisenhagen will be laid to rest in Kansas. Here locally, friends are working on a memorial of sorts. As for Johansson, he's due back here in court on the 22nd. Live tonight in downtown Portland, Cole Miller, Coin 6 News. And